Hey everybody, welcome back once again to Carnivores, not Dinosaur Hunter. This is the Ice Age. We are quote-unquote bridging the gap uh, between the two with uh, the the appropriate map. You know, Revenir's Bridge, we didn't uh, go here too, too much uh, last time, last round with the dinosaurs. So uh, why not why not kick off the series? with uh, this map, you know? Uh, actually, I think, actually, this is the only map that is, uh, that is the same. Is it not? Um, I can't remember if M M McGrath, <laughs> McGrath Island, oh man, I, I don't know if that was in Dinosaur Hunter or not, but uh, obviously the other maps we don't know about yet, but this one for sure was, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do Dawn, nice little early morning experience, cause, uh, I gotta say, I'm a little sleepy, um, <laughs> so hopefully I'm on my game to hunt down the horrific woolly rhinos and terror birds and, and monstrous deer that await us uh, inside. So as you can see, we've already unlocked some of the more uh, basic elements of the game early on because you know what? Uh, hunting wolves and wild boars... That's that's all fun and good, but you gotta do it so many times. It was like, I'm I'm not gonna put you guys through that. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at these three to begin with and give it a go. So hopefully, uh, yeah, all right, good. <laughs> Last time I spawned in a map, right? I was just all alone by myself, and I just felt so deserted because there was literally no. Uh, animals whatsoever within like a five mile radius. You see that that section of the map down in the left hand corner? There's one dot on like an island. That was literally me the last time I played this game. So at least I have <laughs> I have something a little bit closer this time. So uh, let's go check it out. And what do you think it's gonna be? You know, I mean, like that's that's the fun of putting multiple uh, animals from the Ice Age in one map. So let's. Just kind of take our time going over here. It might be a bird. Might just... Oh, no. Oh, there's a bird above us. Ah, oh, man. This guy. It's making us fall into the water. Getting our shoes all muddy and dirty. And how am I supposed to celebrate a kill with muddy boots? I mean, honestly. Because, after all, like, when you kill something, you want to, like, stomp all over it and... <laughs> And make sure it's dead, especially when it's like a vicious Ice Age creature. Oh, my God. Well, here we go. Here we go. We're about to engage, maybe. I don't know, it's so dark over there. Where are you? <coughs> Shut up, bird. Hmm. Well... You gotta say this, I mean, diversity. <laughs> diversity makes for, uh, oh, oh, I think we had a woolly rhino on our hands. It makes for a more exciting hunt, because you never know what you're gonna get, you know? I mean, we could, whoa, okay. Where did, uh, oh, oh, oh. oh. Where is that booger? Where is he? You're making so much noise! Oh, God. Well, see, there you go. We thought we had a woolly rhino and <laughs> we actually had a, a terror bird. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, he is the smallest terror bird, believe it or not, too. Uh, so much so that I think that they actually had to reclassify him. Is that right? I think so. But, uh, yeah. God, what a tiny little booger, you know? So, we have brand new spaceships in this game. They're outlined with a blue hem, or hue, rather, hem, <laughs> blue hem. So yeah, I mean, that, that makes for a, a more stylish uh, getaway for our animals to be taken off to and, and properly, uh, you know, equipped with the right buttons for eyes and <laughs> no um taxidermists do a better job than that i think 
buttons for eyes. What the hell, right? So we got a question mark up ahead. Uh, whoa. What the heck could a question mark be? Like, do they put new... new creatures in this, too? I don't know. I don't know, but now I'm scared. Because, like, in Dinosaur Hunter, we got a nice little Iguanodon as our... as our bonus, you know, but... in this, it could be anything. It could be a simple, like, big bowl or something. Uh, it could be a horrific uh, giant wolf, you know, you never know. Like a gray wolf, like a super gray wolf. <laughs> it just has to be super. Oh. I'm rambling. I'm so freaked out by uh, the fact that I really can't see over here. So maybe we should relocate. Um... No, we'll, we'll, we'll go over. We'll peek over and see. Anything? <laughs> Nothing. Oh! Hello! Titanus! Holy crap! That's, that's the biggest terror that there is. That's the mystery thing. Um... <laughs> 21 points at a heroic 21 meters. Man. Well, that's what you get for uh, being new in my neck of the woods, sir. You, you don't go far, you know. You should not go far. And now, of course, uh, our carriage comes to assist you to join your brethren at the lovely beautiful Mount Stuffalot Lodge and Casino. <laughs> yeah, there is a casino at uh, Mount Stuffalot. We just have not shown it off yet, because uh, after all, if we did, where would we have to go from there, you know? Not, not far. I miss that little bird already. I wish he'd come back. Alright, we actually had to leave that map early on. Much earlier than I wanted to, because we didn't get to see any elk. And, uh, oh god, we have a tear bird right, right at our, at our doorstep. Holy crap. Jeez. Man. That is the way to start a map right there. Just right, right next to a killer. You know, and you don't even know it. You don't even know it. Jeez. That was horrible. Well... At least <laughs> we we started it off right, right? Man. Okay. Let's go out and leave him to be picked up. We'll probably end up throwing his body in a dumpster later. Because uh, that wasn't the best kill in the world. We really just needed it for points. And uh, clearly he was not the, the fabulous specimen that we always seek to find. For the Mount Stuffalot collection, of course, um, it would be nice if we could find the biggest and the best of every animal, but honestly, that's that's probably not going to happen. So, looks like we have another terror bird on our hand. Jeez, these guys are just coming out of the woodwork, aren't they? They don't learn. They really don't learn. You know, I mean, like you would think that they would hear. The legendary tales of my adventures in their beloved homeland, and they learn, hey, you know, if you see a guy who only walks on two legs and uh, carries a big stick, to leave him be. But no, no, they don't. So, whatever, you know. What is this out here? Oh, I think it's the bridge. The little, little. Raveneer's Bridge. I wish we could walk across the damn things, you know? I mean, like, that would be nice. But no, of course we can't. Like, if we did, that would just be too much like an actual game. So, whatever. Like, I mean, honestly, 
Like you, you just can't, you can't get up there whatsoever. And it would be so cool to walk across to the other island. But no. Instead, I gotta swim like a dope. And like stare up at the bridge and say, Oh, you know, I wish that I was worthy enough to walk across the bridge. And no, I'm not. Unfortunately, I'm not. But I am worthy enough to ride on a spaceship. So uh, I think I'm just going to relocate myself. Alright, so I'm on the loneliest island in the world now. With uh, one... One animal. Only populated by one. That is sad. So we are going to make this a population of zero. In just a minute here. Hopefully. That's the idea anyway. And oh! Another tear bird. Of course. Well, that went smashing. Um, yes, he is still alive. And now, now we have an issue. <laughs> because we can't re relocate for like a minute after we land in a new spot. And we lost sight of our tear bird. So, brilliant. Oh, there he is. There we go. Sweet. So... That island is clean. <laughs> now, now we can send people back to the past and inhabit it, this island if we wanted to. Uh, probably won't. Probably won't. But still, it's nice to know that we could if we wanted to. You know.